my god. Ducks are flying. What's up, YouTube? I'm over here at this sick looking pond in Castle Hills. It's like the colony of Frisco. And uh, man, it just looks juicy. It's nice and overcast. It was kind of like a thick mist this morning. The water is so calm. This is ridiculous. It's been kind of warm the last couple days. And I really want to just uh, maybe throw the Texas rig. I brought my MTB box. I might decide to try and throw a lot of the stuff, but. The bite's been real finicky, the weather's been up and down. I'd rather do an MTB box challenge when I know I can get some bites on multiple baits. I'm thinking today they might be real picky and just want a certain something. So I might use the baits out of the box, like something like uh, the worms that are in there. I'm going to showcase all of it, either in this vlog or, or another one coming up. But uh, I might just go with what I know for now and try and get me something. Bryce and Christian are on their way here. It, this looks like, dude, the, the docks layout and so, everything's so cool about this pond. And it's a big one. There's, there's definitely big fish in here. It's been around for a minute. So let me just get started. I'm going to see if I can't link up with something before they get here and see if we find a pattern real quick. All right, y'all, we about an hour in. Uh, Bryce caught a fish right off the bat on a uh, rattle trap. It was gold. Since then, nothing on me, Christian, Bryce, we've been trying everything. Uh, let me get y'all out of the wind. <laughs> I'm gonna try this new rattle trap I just got in the MTB box. Looks like it'll kill. I'm gonna cast right into the wind and be bringing them back with the current. I think uh, this could produce. I'm gonna strap y'all up with the GoPro. All right, yeah, let's make this switch real quick. So this packaging is pretty dope, and look at how uh, these look like real good quality hooks, and they've got them strapped down here so they don't get tangled and mangled. Dude, this thing right here, all right, we gotta put stuff up. And it's really starting to mist heavily now, or drizzle, so I might be cleaning off the screen for y'all. First of all, I gotta see how to swim this thing, cause I don't know what kind of speed we need to be bringing it back with. Oh yeah, he looks good. He looks good. Oh, better put the camera down here. And now that it's really picking up, getting a little wet. Which is all good. Ow. Goddamn. Classic. Second pond. It's a big one, boys. Yo, it's a big one. At least one pound. Ripping them lips. See? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, someone give me a scale. I think it's double digits. <laughs> I'm fucking with him. Honestly, I think this guy's two and a half to three. I'm thinking uh, this would normally be a two, but today it could be three with how fat it is. Definitely pre-spawn, lady. Let's see what we got on the old Rapala gripper scale. Let's call it three. Yeah, see, I was thinking just shy. I, this is definitely a two pound bass. It's just so fat. Uh, let's get her back in there. Oh. Dudes, I just realized I was not recording. I just caught a second fish. Oh my gosh. Uh, it was probably a pound and a half. And uh, I'll, I'll post the picture up right here. He just hit on this bait that I got in the MTB Pro Box. This thing is uh, its so sick. I just did all this explaining and I'm going to redo it because I wasn't filming. Uh, <laughs> It's this guy right here. This Jinko Fishing rip, uh, rip Knocker. Lipless crankbait, 15.5 grams. Got the, got the rattle in there. Uh, got good hooks. Insane castability. Like the weight is perfect on it. Like it gets out there and I'm casting into the wind. Even though that guy hit close, you can get way out there. And I think that first one bit further out, that bigger, that big mama. So I was just kind of saying how much I'm loving these MTB boxes too, because this is a bait at nine bucks that I would probably just, you know, 
I might just get my KVD 1.5s or my rattle traps or whatever because you know either option is a little cheaper but uh, just to be trying new stuff out because they include them in these boxes has been a lot of fun and I'm catching a lot of stuff on baits that I would not have tried just because you know you like to stick to your comfort lures and confidence has a lot to do with fishing I believe you know stick to what you know and a lot of cases and what works because no need to deviate but this thing right here is getting it uh, it's not quite that springtime aggressiveness that I keep hearing about just yet they've been real finicky but they're willing to go after this thing if I slow it down just enough and get in front of their face so far as what I have found Hey, what's the what's the word? Are you heading out? Yeah, I'm heading out. Um, are you about to head out? No, I'm gonna stick around. I, I go to work at 3:30, so I'm gonna be here for probably another half hour. I want to get it for what it's worth. Any more minutes here in this corner? I think. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Is is uh, Bryce heading out as well? You said. Yeah, he's gotta go to work. And okay. Go. Okay. All right then. Well, I'll catch up with y'all another time soon. All right. All right. Bye. Oh, barely missed the tree. Oh, <laughs> that would have been the end of this with treble hooks. I would have gone and got it. <laughs> wow. Don't have too much longer here. About 2.45 now. My God, that was a big one. Wow, hanging out by the bottom of this tree. Don't lose your cool. Okay, y'all, it's about time for me to go, but I gotta try and get this big Bertha right here. I'm gonna toss the bandito in there, see what happens. Dang, how big was that bass? That might be him. That might be him. He's good size. He's good size. Ah, get up here. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Three fish today, almost four. This guy's pretty solid chunk. This bait is killing it. Oh, this will probably be my last catch. I gotta split. I might give it just a few more casts, but I think this is gonna be it, guys. Could be the biggest one of the day. Let's see what the scale says. It's zeroed out. That last one was fat, though. Oh, looks can be deceiving. Just over two and a half. That's a disappointment. Not really. Ah. Wheat. Solid two and a half to close it out. All right, we're back at the car. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It was a good day of fishing. I haven't had a day where I've caught some decent fish in a little while, so uh, pumped. Castle Hills Ponds over here in the colony, if I'm not mistaken. That was a bunch of fun. Look at this big old pond right here. Well, it's not one to focus, but it's there. Uh, that's not actually the pond I caught my fish at. It was the one just over the hill, right where the golf course, well, it's all on the golf course. Just forget about it. What am I even trying to say, man? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, I'm gonna be linking Mystery Tackle Box down in the description below because that's how I've been getting all these new baits and lures I'm trying every single time I've been fishing lately. It's a subscription service where you pay a monthly fee and you get a bunch of different baits every month. It's pretty sick. I'm gonna link their information down in the description below as well as the uh, reel and all that good stuff today and uh, maybe we'll fish this next time this looks kind of sweet look at that little creek thing I'll catch you on the next video guys peace out <gasps>